lads. So I'm hungover as fuck. I don't even think I'm hungover. I'm still fucking drunk to be honest. But I'm gonna do these fucking coilovers today. Um, I went yesterday to Halfords and I got some axle stands which will help. And I got a breaker bar as well in gold, mate. So we're gonna do the back. I'm gonna do the back first and then I use a spring comp compressor for the front. So I'm gonna do the back first, get started, then I'm halfway through. Do the back, go to the Oh shit. Go to screw fix, get some spring compressors, then hopefully do the front. And I'm too hungover to care about things going wrong, so everything better go to the right or they're gonna be pissed off if it doesn't. Okay, so once you've got the wheel off, you want to jack up the axle in the middle just a little bit to take the pressure off that rear bolt there. So there's just two bolts holding the shock on and it's an E18 at the top and E20 at the bottom. So what you're going to do is you're going to, they're probably going to tighten them when you get a breaker bar and break them two loose. This bolt is really hard to get to. I've got a breaker bar, I have to put the socket on first, put it on, and then pull it up. But I've done, I've ripped paint off, and I've bent that, trying to get that bolt off. It's loose now, but fucking hell, that was difficult. I'm gonna have to try and bend that back, and... No! <laughs> but that's loose. Cool beans. So now all that would drop down and you can get the springs out. That's the old spring. Spring. Now you want to put these on the bottom where they fit in. For now, I'm not sure how low they sit, so I'm just gonna get that. I'm gonna get the the spinner flush. Oops. Flush with that so I'm gonna sit it flat. Just like that, and it look, and I'm going to put that bit on the bottom. So I'm going to put it in the car like that, same to the side. Then I'm going to jack it up in the middle there, jack it up there, and I'm going to put a shot in, and then that's the back done. I should really torque them down, but man's not got a torque wrench.
the back done. Okay, so update. One, my hair's still a fucking mess. Two, we've got some spring compressors, so we're gonna get started on the front. Hopefully, it goes as smooth as the back did. Maybe even smoother, because then bolts are a fucking pity. Okay, so another update. My hair's not a mess anymore, and the fronts were 10 times harder than the back ones. I've got them done now, but this is like four days later. Because the problem I ran into is I couldn't get the top knot off the strut. Like I couldn't, I just could not do it. I, and I couldn't find, I was going to buy a gooseneck wrench uh, and then try and do it. But everywhere was shut because it was Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and then it was Boxing Day and everywhere was shut and I just couldn't do it. So the only time I got to do it was today. And it's the end of the day. I've not videoed in the day because um, I was around like four mechanics and I didn't really want to be getting a camera out. I was like, oh, let me video on this, mate. So I didn't really, I've got some footage of what I've done, um, but not so much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the footage that I've got, and I'm going to talk over it. But the car's done now, I'll show you what it looks like at the end, it looks fucking fantastic. I, was, I had many comments and many 16 year old young lads on the way home when I was driving. So what an absolute bonus. So insert the footage now. Okay, so this is taking off um, the strut on the left hand side. Now what is all it's holding it on is at the bottom of the strut uh, to the hub, there's two bolts and they're 18 millimeter. So what I've got there is it's an 18 millimeter spanner on the one side and I've got an 18 millimeter socket with the breaker bar on the other side. I'm just breaking the nuts loose now. I highly recommend you getting the breaker bar because it's so, these some of these nuts are really, really tight and the breaker bar just makes life so much easier. So what I'm doing now, I'm just getting the extension because if I didn't have an extension on it, it would be hitting against the hub and I won't be able to get enough leverage. So I've just got an extension, push it a little bit further out and then I'm just trying to break, uh, just trying to break the bottom knot off now. And it's pretty easy with a breaker bar. Um, if you didn't have one, I reckon that you would not be able to do this or you would snap your wrists and it'd be a one way ticket to snap city if you didn't. So I've got them two loose now, so I'm just gonna get the ratchet. Uh, and I'm just gonna take them off the rest of the way. So now they're off, you could just literally just knock them out. Now what, where my ratchet is now at the top, where my spanner is, uh, there's one more bolt, and holding it on, it's an 18 millimeter again, but behind it, there's like a, uh, there's a there's a nut, this, the same size as the end of the wrench. And then you gotta hold that, it's a bit, little bit, little bit tricky to get to there. Now I didn't really video it that well, but if I just pause the video there, you can see there's a nut right at the top holding the rod end on. And all you do with that is exactly the same, you get a break around that, two long extensions, so it's coming out the car, and then you can just break that off and you've got to make sure that you're holding on the the spanner at the back otherwise that'll just keep spinning and i did that for the first five minutes it just kept spinning and spinning i didn't understand why so if you look if you get to the back of it you can feel around there's like a little there's like a little nut which your spanner will just fit onto perfectly now i didn't show uh the last process of getting the strut off but i'll include a picture here uh of what it looks like and what you've got to do basically all them two little plastic clips on they literally just slide under and stop it from moving around. So all you gotta do is you've gotta get a flathead screwdriver, put it in each side, and just try and break the teeth off one at a time. Now do be gentle with these, if you snap these, then then that's your whole day fucked up basically. So all you gotta do is you gotta put your flathead screwdriver into them and just pry them off, go left to right, left to right, left to right. Try and get some leverage up underneath the strut because that'll take the pressure off the plastic bits and then they just slide out and then once you've done that, the strut will just slide off. Okay, so this is us trying to remove the nut from the strut nut. Now we found out that having uh, the breaker bar or any sort of ratchet would not help so we actually had to go and get a buzz gun. Uh, one of the rattle guns, it was a half inch and it's a 21 millimeter socket on the top. Now this one was relatively easy to get out what we have we've got vice clamps on the strut itself trying to stop it from spinning it took us about 10 15 minutes of just doing that uh, and then the nut came loose but when we got to the side off it took us and near, near enough an hour to get off we had two vice clamps on on the strut uh, and then we also had another big pair of pliers about two foot long pliers we were standing on that and then we had another wrench tightening down the strut so we had four Four wrenches trying to stop the strut spinning while I was impact wrenching it, and it was just not giving. We had four four grown men standing on these pliers trying to stop it from spinning, and eventually we broke it off. It took about an hour doing that, and if you, 
I would suggest not doing this unless you actually had mechanics. Like two of them were mechanics uh, and it took us an hour to get off. Uh, if I attempted that on my own, I would have been stuck there. I would have been still stuck there and I would have gave up by now. So definitely make sure you've got some mechanics with the right tool. Otherwise, that is not coming off. So we replaced truck nut uh, and that's what it looks like. Um, all we it was all we had to do with this one is we put the nut on and we just buzzed it down and it didn't spin with the nut on the first one but as I was mentioned the second one which was really hard to get off you can imagine that was spinning uh, but all we did was we just got a player of pliers and we applied a little bit of pressure to the strut over the rubber so it didn't make any uh, marks or scratches on the strut itself so putting them back on 10 times easier than taking them off 10 times easier but they, was, they would have still been impossible if it didn't have the, the impact gun there. All we're doing there, we're just measuring them up. So we're just trying to measure the, the right setting for the coils. And it ended up that they were perfect height. So putting them back in, opposite reversing them. Opposite the reversing them, the opposite of taking them off. Put the two nuts in, tighten them up. Okay, so it's dark, but... You know how impatient I am. I can't be asked waiting till the morning to go and get a video of the coil over. So I know a picture will not suffice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and drive and find sign somewhere well lit and get a good video. Also, I picked up a little friend on the way home. I thought, you know what? We'll get another violet. Two violets. Insert coil over montage. Now.